Now on EA Sports, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the New York Jets and the Arizona Cardinals, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 25. A good neighbor to nearby downtown Phoenix. We're at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale, Arizona. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more likely is going to come away with the win. Chad Ryland will have the honor of getting us started. And away we go in Glendale. Xavier Gibson now to return. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. So the Jets take the field for their first drive. They're led out by the four-time MVP who's been in this league since 2005, Aaron Rodgers. I think it's safe to say, Kate, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers may be one of the most polarizing figures in the NFL, but there is nobody, nobody that will question his ability to spin a football different than everybody else. Just ask his receivers, tight ends, running backs, anybody that's ever played with him. He elevates their game, and he often elevates his own game to an MVP kind of level. They start the drive with Hall. And he found some running room for a nice game. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of a defense. They give on second to Hall. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Give him eight yards on the play. And it's good enough for a New York first down. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. That's caught. It's Brees Hall. And they make the tackle at the 38. He picks up 15 on the play. And it'll give the Jets a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. New set of downs for him at the 38. First down throw by Rodgers. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Working out of the gun. It's Rodgers. Escapes the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. Let's see what they went with on third down. From the shotgun, Rodgers. Able to hit home, complete. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how, I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball, and over time, he's going to make you pay. So on fourth down, the Jets turn to a fan favorite. It's Thomas Morstead to punt it away. 
Oh, they are loving this one. It flies out of bounds, and it wasn't too far off the end zone. They're going to say it crossed at the three. So here come the Cardinals now as they get sent for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the 60-year pro and former number one overall pick out of Oklahoma, Kyler Murray. As you're running onto the field with this kind of field position as a quarterback, you're reminded yourself and your huddle. Hey, let's be disciplined. Got to be on the details here. Got to take care of the football. And you also encourage them and let them know that script you've been working on all week. Well, there's a lot of field and there's a lot of plays ahead of them to go and put a score on the board. First play, Murray's letting it rip. Has him on the quick hitter. He gets it ahead, winds up with about three. Brought to a halt by C.J. Mosley. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. They'll run it here. It's James Conner. He's contained at the line for no gain. Brought to a halt by C.J. Mosley. No gain on the play, and it brings up third and seven. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Not a good spot to punt from. They really want to convert here on third. Now Murray on the play fake. Catch is made down the right sideline. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. Still third down. The flag makes this third down and 10. Kyler looking to throw. Looking for a target. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. It's exactly how you draw it up defensively. A three and out and a sack on top of it. Create that negative play. Create a little doubt in that quarterback's mind. And offensively, well, that's the worst way to start it. No rhythm, no tempo, and now you give the ball right back to the opponent. So on fourth down now, Blake Gillikin gets the call to punt it away for the Cardinals. Not much room, but he's still able to crush it. Feels this clean at the 30. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Got every single bit of that one, didn't he? Over 70 yards on the punt. And it'll be Jets football. Here's first and 10 from the 34. They'll start this one out with Hall. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Hall once more, and he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Rogers here from the gun. Conklin brings it in. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Off the play fake, here's Rogers. Into the hands of Garrett Wilson. And he's marked down, looks like at the 32-yard line. They'll get 18 yards there. And it's good enough for a New York first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept 
sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. He's got a man left, and he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Through one quarter, neither side breaking through on the scoreboard. A couple of zeros on the board right now. We'll return to State Farm Stadium in just a moment. Time for the second quarter of play, it's Jets football. They're looking at yet another first and 10 on this drive. Throwing again, it's Rodgers. That one is incomplete, couldn't hang on through the contact. Oh, that is, oh, that is such a bummer. A dropped touchdown right in the end zone. We're gonna see how quickly he can flush this one. He better, because they gotta make an impact later. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing once again, Rodgers. Has it down close. And in, touchdown New York. So Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Greg Zerline for the point after try. The point after splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this flying. DJ Dallas now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now he gets set to see the Cardinal offense for the second time. Still in search of their first points as we work our way through the middle of this game. The score, 7-0. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Operating from the gun. Here's Murray. Oh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Tossing this out to Connor. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. Brought to a halt by C.J. Mosley. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. I don't mind that call on the early downs. Give that defense something to think about. You got the inside run between the tackles, and whether it's jet sweeps or a little swing pass, or in that case, a toss, make sure you threaten to the outside. Flushed out of the pocket. He's running for it. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. The Cardinals out for the punt. Xavier Gibson on to return for the Jets. Absolutely crushed his first punt, and here's another huge one. That one hits at the six, but can't check up. It gets into the end zone for a touchback. Now here comes the New York offense. 
They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Rodgers to throw. He's on the move. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We've got enough data now through the years to understand that an explosive play on offense more often than not leads to scoring. We also know if you can create a negative play defensively in a tightly contested game like this, every play matters. And to get that negative play, put this offense on their heels exactly what this defense needed. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. Short pass brought in. And this one gets up to the 14-yard line before he stopped. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, give your quarterback a chance. This offense looking to converge as they come up on third down. Rodgers will look to throw. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. Starts his return from the 23. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The kicking team got downfield quickly there. He didn't manage much on the return. And it'll be Cardinals football. Got first down from the 31. Running to start this drive with Connor. And it's going to be about three yard pickup in the end. Brought to a halt by CJ Mosley. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. On second down, a run with Connor. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Now might be a good spot to remind everybody, about for the thousandth time, how much better athletes these D tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. Five DBs out there for the Jets. Third down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Couldn't connect right side, it's incomplete. Ooh, very fortunate that didn't go as a turnover. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. The Jets have their offense ready to go again. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now here's Rodgers. Into the hands of Conklin. They get an even 10 on that play. And it'll give the Jets a first down. 
Kate, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. That's the two-minute warning in what has been a defensive battle. And it's the Jets with a first and ten. Here's Rogers. For right side, cut by Wilson. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Play fake, it's Rodgers. And there's a man there, it's intercepted. Buda Baker picks it off. And the Cardinals are finally stopped on the return. But they'll still take over on the edge of the red zone. I know he started to play as a defender, but gosh, he looked good, didn't he? Running it back, he looked like a receiver navigating on that return. The way he saw the field, he baited obstacles and he chewed up yardage in the open space. Wouldn't well, make those offensive coaches and teammates proud. We've seen defensive players get touches on occasion, and I think he just gave himself maybe a look on that side of the ball down the road. The Arizona offense about set to get going here. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the gun, it's Murray. Buys time, rolling right. He's going to keep it this time. And he will score! Touchdown, Arizona! The Cardinals earn the chance to tie before halftime. It's a Kyler Murray touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith. Right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. Ryland Tex on the extra point. And the Cardinals tie this game 7-7. All set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Gibson now to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with well, plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They're out and set, first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception, he's looking to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. To throw, Rodgers. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, 
You gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. Third down, give to Hall. And he's able to maneuver this up past the 30. The Cardinals deciding to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Thomas Morstead heading back out for the punt. On the return for the Cardinals, DJ Dallas. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And there was nobody down there to get it. Punt hit at the seven, but continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Cardinals on offense late in the half. And we're a shade away from 50 seconds to go in the half. That's enough time to put something together. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Now Kyler. Makes the connection to James Conner. And they had that one contained right at the line. Quincy Williams making the tackle. Man, the defense was all over that throw. Able to stop it right at the line. They could smell that one coming, and they sniffed it out in a hurry. Second and 10. Need to get some positive yardage here. Back to throw it. That's complete. Here's Connor. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Drops to a knee, clock's gonna run, unless that defense burns one of its two remaining timeouts. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Blake Gillikin on to punt. And he's been one of the players of this game. He's been hitting it well so far. This is another big one. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. That brings us to halftime, and these teams locked up on the scoreboard. It's a 7-7 ball game. Now we'll send things over to Orlando, Florida. Jonathan Coachman on standby, ready to deliver the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Who knows when the deciding moment will come. We're underway in the second half of a deadlocked game. Here's Greg Dortch with the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Here come the Cardinals to begin quarter number three. And they could take control in the second half early, Brock, if they break the tie on this opening drive. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Connor on the inside give. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run in crossing that first down marker. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Play action now, Murray. 
The pass is incomplete, but hold on here. We've got a flag on the field. Here's the call. So not a holding call. One of the linemen actually too far downfield that time. That's what drew the flag. Still second down. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Back to throw. Murray has the connection to Jones. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And it'll be first down, Arizona. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. Now Murray on the play fake. Got him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer, when they get a guy cut, they know. Mm. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. He'll get this one to Connor. And he's brought down for a loss. Okay, that's one of those situations as a quarterback that on my grade sheet, that's a negative. That screen was ambushed by the defense, and you've got to throw it away. Just find a way to put it at his feet and not create a negative play for your offense. And it's a nickel look from the Jets. Third down. Murray to throw. He lost it. Deep left. He's got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Arizona. So no mistake in that play call, Brock. They send everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Ryland now for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Cardinals break that tie and now lead by seven. All set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. Gibson now to return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Jets out to begin another drive. They've got a chance to tie this up here as they trail 14-7. will start out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. It's caught, that's Mike Williams. Oh, stiff arm. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Give him 30 yards on that one. And it's good enough for a New York first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Big play gets him across midfield, sets him up first and 10 from the 40. Hall running between the tackles. 
Has a lane inside the 25. And he's finally stopped right at the start of that red zone. Down at the 20. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it'll give the Jets a first down. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung him to get to the second level and beyond. Going to the ground again on first. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. All gets it again on second down. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Rodgers throwing on third down. And through the back of the end zone and out of bounds. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharp shooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. You've got to shake it off and keep on firing. So the Jets are going to try a field goal on fourth down. And Greg Zerline headed out. It's a 34-yarder from that right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. You always feel like you leave a few points on the field when you kick it from here. But they don't wind up empty-handed on the drive. And the kicker, well, he gets to pad his stats a little bit with the high percentage make. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Dallas with a return. And look at this return. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Cardinals and Marvin Harrison Jr. set for this next possession. And after watching their passing attack take them the length of the field last drive, Brock, I expect we're probably going to see a heavy dose of the aerial attack again here. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First and 10, Murray. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. and creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Connor trying the right side. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Third and just two to go. It's Connor again. Jukes one defender. And he'll get it up to the 44. It's a four-yard gain, and that's going to get him across the marker and earn the first. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there, but he's going to get the job done, and he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. First down, and they go right back to it. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. You know, the elite running backs in this league, they don't just see what's right in front of them. You set up big runs like this because they see what's behind them. That's called extraordinary vision and extra yards. First and 10 from the 41. Right back to Connor. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Quincy Williams making the tackle. No gain there that time, and it's second and 10. 
Three quarters in the books from this one. The Cardinals have it with the lead. Just gotta hang on for a little bit longer. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Changing things up, they're gonna throw now. He's on the move. He takes it himself. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's a Cardinals first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're gonna be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Working inside the red zone, able to find Jones. And they get this down to the seven yard line. That's a gain of 13 and it sets him up with first and goal. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. All set up for an insurance score here. It's first and goal. Operating from the gun. Here's Murray. He's got it! And this one's stopped at the three-yard line. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. So from the three, here's second and goal. Shotgun handoff to Connor. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Give him two yards on the run, and that leaves them just inches short for third down. An offensive group really hoped he was going to get it all right there, reset it back to first down. But instead, the defense, well, they're not going to let anything come easy. And their fight is giving them a chance to stall things out on the third and short. Third and goal for Connor. And he's in for the touchdown. The Cardinals now lead by 10. It's a James Conner touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. Now how about the other side? Beating a defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Ryland now for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Cardinals drive their lead to 11. All set now for the kickoff. Ryland with the honors. On the return, here comes Davis. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. They haven't caught him yet. And the tackle saves a touchdown, but they still take over inside the red zone. You know, Kate, it's fun talking to these elite kick returners over the years and how much they visualize as they're sitting back there waiting for the kickoff return. They're visualizing, well, a house call. And there was some serious explosiveness from him on that one. He may not have gotten all the way to the house, but he's setting his offense up in the red zone, which is pretty darn good. Drive starts out with a first and ten. From the shotgun, Rogers. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. 
You know, this is a time where offensively you got to regroup. You got to get in that huddle. You know, and quarterback is the most important leadership position. Everyone's looking at you. And as a QB after taking a sack like that, golly, you got to flush it, instill some confidence, and move this ball forward. This will be caught by Adams. Pick up of a few as he heads out of bounds. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. And there's an extra DB out there on the field now for the Cardinals. Third down coming. Play action with Rodgers. Cut near the goal line. Touchdown, New York. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. Huge moment here for the Jets as they go for two. Rogers trying to throw for it. And he's into the end zone, so the two-point try pays off. They cut the deficit to just a field goal here in the fourth. Volley set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Dallas with a return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Cardinals offense making its way out. And this really looks like a whole different ball game after that touchdown, doesn't it? They really need to go on a drive here. They're out and set, first and ten. A give right side to Connor. It's on the turf, falls out, he lost it. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Well, that didn't take long, Brock. One play, and they're back out there. Well, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an offensive player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. The Jets and Aaron Rodgers headed back out on offense. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. First and 10 now from the 30. Throwing now, following the turnover. This is reeled in by Wilson. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. What opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second and three. That's complete to Wilson. And they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down. That's a gain of 13 and it sets him up with first and goal. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. 
First down throw by Rodgers. And this time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And the pressure drives them backwards. You know, we do enough of these games, Kate, and I am a big fan of creativity. And the QBs today are some of the best to ever do it. That's a situation where you got to know on first down, it's not time to be creative, especially if you feel the heat coming defensively. Just find a way to throw that sucker in the first row. It's the two-minute warning from Glendale. Jets trail by a field goal. It's second and goal. Coming right is home. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. He got maybe a yard there, so a long third and goal coming up. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. They'll run with Hall. And he's brought down after a tremendous effort just to get a couple of yards. That run good for three yards, but still a ways out as it brings up fourth and goal. Well, the defense, they couldn't stop him for a loss, but they denied him the goal line at least. Now we get to see, right, decision time, one of these critical decisions of whether or not they're going to go for an all-or-nothing fourth down play. Important moment as they turn to Greg Zerline. A very short kick here from the right hash. Looking good, and it's through! And inside the final minute, they've tied this up! It's such a confidence builder to a sideline. To an entire team, Kate, when you can rely and trust your kicker in these big moments. He tied it up, and now it's incumbent upon his defense to do their job. It's all lined up. Morstead ready to send this fly. Dorch now to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. The Arizona offense ready to get things going again. And even with some time left, Brock, a long ways to go to get into range for a game winner. They're going to need to move it in a hurry. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Connor here from the gun. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Cardinals in the hurry up now, racing the clock as they work to get set. Now to throw. Into the hands of Michael Wilson. And he'll be touched down after a big play. The Cardinals deciding to use the first of their three timeouts. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. In quite the time crunch here, Brock, but still two timeouts to burn. It's first down. Throwing now. Jones reels it in. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Now with just 10 seconds left in our game, we've got a timeout. Second and three now. To throw. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find a throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up.
Looking to throw it. This to win the game. Intercepted in the end zone. Sauce Gardner with the INT. Well, Brock, four quarters, couldn't decide a winner. And now we're set up for an exciting conclusion to this contest. Overtime is coming up next. And hopefully this conclusion will be just as exciting as our opening four quarters. The kick is away here in overtime. Dallas with a return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Out had the Cardinals now on offense. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Straight ahead, it's Connor. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Murray looking to throw. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. The first down carry for Connor. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield, and a back who can show off his wheels. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's the give to Connor. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign. They're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Second and six coming up here. Handoff goes to Connor, running left. And there was really nowhere to go there. Just a small push to the 37. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. Finds his target, Ryman. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. They get six and a first down as well. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They've got first down from the 31. From the gun, it's Murray. This one quickly to Harrison. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward. Keeps you on schedule and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Running left, it's Connor. And they'll stop him after a short pickup to the 24. 
two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. 